More than 400,000 students chose this destination for the higher education 2021 and over 140,000 students from over 70 countries had already applied for the higher education by the end of last year's August and the admission in B schools saw a humongous jump of 18% which was a never before seen figure. So if you're still wondering about which destination I'm talking about, well, it is France. Well, this is no surprise as France ranks fifth globally in terms of the world's top study destinations due to its cultural heritage, best cuisines and top schools. Today, I'm going to take you for a spin to experience the French way of life. And if you're looking for a study abroad destination, then I'm going to tell you if France could be the best option for you or not. In this video, we will share six reasons why you should consider studying in France and two reasons why you should not. And guys, all these experiences are from my personal point of view because I myself spent three years of my life in France after doing my master's in management from ESCP Europe. So you can rest assured that each and everything I'm going to tell you is valid and true. Hey guys, my name is Abhyang Shunet. I'm the CEO and study abroad expert of MIMSA and Mentor Me. And in today's video, I'll be talking about student life in France, diversity, top schools, programs, the high salaries you get, and a lot more. But before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to MIMSA to get all the latest study abroad updates. Reason number one, you get to study at the best schools and programs. So usually when you think about top schools, what comes to your mind? Usually it is UK, Oxford, Cambridge, or let's say US where you're looking about Cornell or Harvard. Well, you'll be surprised to know that there are amazing schools in France, such as HEC Paris, which is ranked 11th globally and has a special focus on management degrees, offering amazing MIM MBA programs. Or there's INSEAD, amazing campus, amazing placements, and one of the strongest alumni networks in the world. After HEC Paris and INSEAD, which are literally one of the world's best schools, comes the next school, which is my personal favorite, which is ESCP Europe. And why? Because I did my master's management from there. They have campus campuses in all major European cities from Paris, London to Berlin, Madrid and Turin. The best part of this college is you can get an MSc degree of Paris or France as well as of the other country that you choose to study in. It is one of the very few schools where you can even opt for a double specialization. Number four comes ESSEC which stands at number six for one of the world's best master management programs and gives amazing value for money while giving you exposure to a rich diversity of individuals. You have amazing programs from MIM, MBA, MSBA and a lot of other MS degrees to choose from through ESSEC. Number two high salaries. Well, an MBA from say INSEAD can get you a median salary of nearly $113,000 and an overall median sign-on bonus of about $27,400. For HEC Paris, you can get a hefty paycheck of $110,000 and a sign-on bonus of about $14,000. So usually when I talk about jobs, these are basically based into four major criteria. Your finance, which pays the highest, then comes consulting, then comes marketing, and France is big on marketing. And then there's operations, HR, and all smaller fields. Reason number three, top recruiters. France has the world's fifth largest economy and 31 of the world's 500 most powerful companies are placed here. There are amazing companies like Airbus, Total, Orange, Sanofi, L'Oreal, and the list goes on and on. You can see a table of the top recruiters on your screen, which make a beeline for all these top schools we just talked about. And all of these have a headquarters based out of Paris. So you can get amazing opportunities in top schools and get amazing salaries as well. Now guys, if you have watched this video so far, I'm sure you're planning to study abroad in France or in surrounding countries. Now, if you want to target a top B school this year, you can go ahead and book a free strategy session from the link below. And our experts who have helped hundreds of people get into HEC, NCR, DSEC and more can help you make your study abroad journey come true. And make sure at the end, you get a good salary and a good admit. Reason number four, the student life in France. Living in France means you can travel freely without a visa in 26 countries in the Schengen area. And you don't need to change the currency in 19 European countries if you choose to travel because all of them follow the euro. So when you study abroad, it's not just about academics, it's about exposure as well. You can actually swim in three different oceans, explore four continents, roam around five mountainous European regions, and there are 42 UNESCO World Heritage Sites that you can explore. Paris is amazing. From my personal experience, if I look at it, Every day I walked about, I saw one new monument or one new structure. So it really opens a barrage of opportunities, right? If you like exposure and if you like exposing yourself to different cultures. Now we come to reason number five, which is one of the most critical reasons. Post-study work permit. Getting work permit in France is pretty easy. After master's, you get around one to two years of work visa, which you can use to get a job and work your way towards your permanent residentship. And once you find a job, you can keep on extending this work visa and work your way up towards your PR. It also gives you more than enough time to pay off any student loan. And did I tell you that France has very reasonable tuition fees. So you naturally study at very low costs. Again, one of the major reasons why I chose to go ahead and apply to France. Let's talk about reason number six, ROI. 
The tuition fees in France are relatively low compared with other European as well as US counterparts because a lot of these institutions are also funded by state. Even if you look at private universities like HEC Paris, ESSEC, ESCP, they are very feasible with tuition fees ranging from 50,000 all the way down to 30,000 euros. And again, if you are planning to do your management specifically, you may want to prefer a private university because it gives you a much higher ROI and has better personal connections. All in all, the salaries you earn are almost two to three times higher than the tuition fees. So you can easily pay off any loans within a three year time period, which is pretty good. Secondly, the French ministry offers a variety of scholarships to international students. You have the Eiffel scholarship, the Charpak scholarship, and you also have the Mokpa. Further, in addition to this, Schools like HEC, ESSEC, ESCP all have their own merit scholarships. For example, I got a 40% scholarship when I was applying. That was again one of the key reasons I chose ESCP. Okay, so till now we have talked about six reasons why you should consider studying in France. And because we at MIMSA always believe in providing you the right information, I'm going to tell you two reasons why I would not choose to study in France. Reason number one. Language barrier. Most of the universities in France have English medium options for international students, so you really won't face any issues while you're studying. However, it is a well-known fact that locals there tend to speak only French, and because of that, it might be a bit stressful for you to interact with fellow students or local communities, which means you'll have to make an extra effort to learn the language. In addition to this, if you want to go into a front-end facing job, like you want to work in consulting at BCG McKinsey, it may be a bit tough for you because at the end of the day, you need to interact with clients and they would prefer to speak in French. Reason number two expensive costs of living. To live in France, you need to have a monthly budget of at least 600 to 800 euros to cover food, transport, housing expenses, and so on. Now see, the overall living costs in France depend on your lifestyle. And most of all, they depend on your chosen location. Many French cities that you live in, such as Lyon, Nantes, Bordeaux, Toulouse, you can easily manage your living expenses between 800 to 1000 euros. But if you live in Paris, it can be a bit more expensive. Now, if I talk about my personal experience, this was back in 2013 to 2016. I had to have at least 80,000 rupees to survive monthly. And it definitely would have increased by at least 10 to 20% because now it's been seven to eight years. So again, while this amount may seem large in the short term, you need to look at the long term because once you start earning, you can pay it off within a few years. So guys, hope after watching this video, you have enough points in your mind to choose if France is the country for you or not. If you have any further questions, Questions or if you have any points that you want more clarity on, please go ahead and put in the comments below and I'll make sure I answer each and every one of them. Lastly guys, I hope you found this video informative and if you're still confused about which degree or country to choose, you can go ahead and book a call with one of our experts from the link in the description and we'll set up a 20 minute session focused towards helping you select the right degree, country and schools and making the decision much more easier for you. And if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more useful content on study abroad.